Hello everybody, Trevor here. It's been a while since I talked about All Engines Go, hasn't it? I was originally not going to make another rant on All Engines Go this year, in that I've been trying to avoid watching the show for the most part, but because there have been plenty of interesting things that have been leaked recently, I feel the need to talk about them. For this video, we will be discussing about two new characters who recently appeared in Season 2, the recently leaked images of PlayRail's All Engines Go merchandise, a little bit about the returning characters such as Whiff, and finally, as a hater, I want to explain why I still respect people's opinions no matter what. So here we go. The first thing we'll be talking about is Bruno. And no, I'm not going to reference the meme from Disney's Encanto, nor the meme from Pixar's Luca, because I know some of you are already tired of hearing it. Anyways, I'm actually quite mixed on Bruno's character. While I do like the fact that he has autism, and that he's based on an American caboose, but the only things I don't like about him are his unfunny jokes and that he's a child vehicle. No offense to all the kid actors in this show, I just think it's much more reliable to have all the vehicle characters be voiced by adults, just like in the CGI series. That way, you won't have to keep hiring more kid actors to replace old ones like with Paw Patrol. And in case if you don't know about me, I have a mild form of autism known as Asperger's Syndrome. And sometimes I take things too literally, such as sarcasm. And like Bruno, I also have plenty of interests such as trains, video games, and nostalgia in general. So I could say that Bruno is one of the only few good things about All Engines Go. You know, besides Neil Crone returning as Gordon. Also, they say that Bruno is the first autistic character, but this is false. It was actually Theo from Journey Beyond Sorter who was the first to have autism. Oh, and did you know that Bruno's rooftop was originally going to be gray? I don't know why they changed it to black in the final cut, but who cares? Now let's move on to Tess. She's a chosen crane who works at Kelthsthorpe Wharf. I have one big question about her. If she's based on Carly's original design from seasons 21 to 24, why couldn't they do the same thing for Carly when they first announced All Engines Go? This just goes to show you that Mattel is really lazy about this kind of stuff. I know that's an understatement, but it's the truth. Secondly, there's no wharf at Kelsthorpe Road, by the way, because in the original series, it was just a junction station for the Kirk Ronan branch line. And thirdly, due to her height, I was kind of expecting her to be an adult character rather than a child, and I'm not going to repeat myself as to why. Alright, now for the returnees, particularly with Ashima and Darcy. Not much to say here, but I think the new US voices for them are okay, but not as good and memorable as those from the CGI series. Also, I haven't heard the English voices for the other returnees yet, but here's hoping they're passable like the other adult vehicles. Lastly, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Bringing back old characters isn't making the reboot any better. Oh, and by the way, this does not look like Farmer Cole at all. Next up are the All Engines Go items for PlayRail. If you've watched my first reaction video to this, then you would know why I hated this idea. And to be fair, I knew it was going to happen anyway because of the reboot coming to Japan. But on the bright side, these toys will coexist along with the CGI counterparts. And if that's the case, here's hoping we will get more rise player out versions of Raul, Shane, Duchess, and Bo. Also, to be fair, as bad as these new toys look, at least Tomy has better quality toys than Mattel's toys in America. And finally, as a hater, I want to explain why I respect other people's opinions on this new cartoon, regardless of how stupid and cartoony it looks. And I'm sure some of you have been waiting for this one as well. Before I start this, I just want to say, I'm not trying to force my opinions on you, and I know I can't speak for everyone when it comes to All Engines Go, but if you like it, that's fine. If you have legit reasons for liking it, that is. For instance, you guys might like it for the memes and cursed images. 
And to be honest, I like memes in general because they make me chuckle. As long as they're not dead or outdated memes. Or some people might like it because it reminds them of My Little Pony or Teen Titans Go. And personally, if I'm going to disrespect someone's opinion on something, I need to have a moral reason. For example, as an ammo lover myself, I will not tolerate ammo abuse in any way, shape, or form. And if you like hurting animals, especially cats and dogs, then you are a heartless idiot. Here's another example. I don't like it when kids twerk in media, especially in the Pop of Girls 2016, because not only is it disgusting and uncomfortable, but it attracts pedophiles. And if you disagree with me on that, then may God have mercy on your pathetic soul. But when it comes to All Engines Go, it's just a stupid kids cartoon. I know, I hate to use this argument, but the truth is, not all cartoons have to be taken that seriously. And I can kind of see why some people might like it nowadays. Yes, I know people can make poor defenses on things like this, but that doesn't mean I have to deliberately put them down for having an unpopular opinion. After all, opinions are subjective. However, the only fans I can't stand are those who can't take an opinion. And that's another thing. If I treat people like garbage for liking this crappy show, especially in the comments section, chances are they might make rude videos or even community posts about me, and I don't want that. I don't want people to think that I'm the misanthropony of the Thomas community. That's why I like to normally respect other people's opinions on things no matter what. If I can respect people's opinions on Thomas Wood even back then, then surely I can respect people's thoughts on All Engines Go as well. And no, my opinion on All Engines Go has not changed one bit, because I still think it's the worst reboot I've ever seen in my entire life, with PPG 2016 coming at a close second. Again, say what you want about Big World Big Adventures or the Sharon Miller eras, but at least they still felt like Thomas to me. But this one doesn't. I honestly want to hear your thoughts on Bruno, Tess, and all things All Engines Go. Do you agree with me, or have you seen worse? But remember, one of the biggest rules on my channel is to not start drama. So do not attack people who like this new show. You can totally debate with them in the comments, but please, don't start any flame wars over TV shows like this. Otherwise, you are no better. This is Trevor Davis, signing off.